Hi guys, welcome to sixth grade, chapter four, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So you'll see that all we're doing is multiplying. Okay, so if we are, we're multiplying by whatever number is right here. So five times one is five, five times two is 10, five times three is 15, okay? Three times two, six, three times three, nine, okay? So we're just following the pattern. So six times one is six, six times two, 12, six times three, 18, okay? Seven times one, seven, seven times two, 14, seven times three, 21, okay? Super easy, guys. Don't make it harder than it's gotta be. Sorry, please, please. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna go to the next one, okay? Multiply by three, three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine. Okay, two times two is four, two times three is six. Okay, all right, you guys do those last two, you totally can. Okay, so we're gonna write two ratios that are equivalent. Oh, you guys can totally do these ones too. It's exactly the same, they're just not giving you the boxes. So it still wants you to write two more, they're just not gonna give you the boxes to do it in. Okay, so if I have four fifths, then I would have eight tenths, and then I would have. 12, 15, and it would have 16 over 20, okay? All right, guys. All right, so you guys finish up through nine. We are going to determine whether the ratios are equivalent, okay? So I am going to show you guys a good way to do that, okay? Two thirds and five six. Okay. So, how we tell if one fraction is bigger than the other or if they're equal is to do this and three times five is 15, and six times two is 12. Not equal, guys. Okay. All right, so we're going to do the next one. The next one says 5 tenths and 1 6. Okay. So your answer is no. Okay. 10 and 30, not even a little bit the same. Okay. All right. Our next one is 8 over 3 and 32 over 12. Okay, so now okay, three times thirty two well three times two is six and three times three is nine and eight times twelve well eight times two is sixteen. Let's do that another color. Carry that one, eight times one. There we go. So we have ninety six and ninety six. So number 12 is yes. Okay, you guys try and do number 13. Okay, you guys have examples on how to do it. Okay, you're just diagonal and multiply. Okay, all right, good job. Okay, Tristan uses seven stars and nine diamonds to make a design. Write two ratios that are equivalent to seven ninths. So we're just doing exactly what we did in the first one. So, 7 over 9. Well, if we multiply 7 by 2, we get 14. If we multiply 9 by 2, we get 18. Okay? If we multiply 7 by 3, we get 21. If we multiply 9 times 3, we get 27. Okay? So, those are your two equivalents. Okay? Okay. There are 12 girls and 16 boys in Javier's math class. There are 26 girls and 14 boys in Javier's choir class. Is the ratio of boys in the two classes equivalent? Okay, so just, oh, girls, two boys. So we wanna know if they're equivalent. So we're gonna do our diagonal multiplication, okay? So 12 girls, 16 boys, 26 girls, 14 boys, okay? 
So. I don't know that one off the top of my head. So six times six, 36. Six times two is 12, plus three is 15. Tic tac toe, one times 26 is 26. Okay, and now 12 times 14. I'm gonna put the bigger number up top, okay. So your answer is going to be no, 168, 416, not even close. Okay, so no, and then you would write your work down. It's right here, okay, to show your work, okay? It says explain, you have to show your work, okay? So we're going to go on to the back. You guys, of course, are going to take on the lesson check like you always do. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and do the spiral review. Okay, so scissors come in packages of three, glue sticks come in packages of 10. Martha wants to buy the same number of each. What is the fewest glue sticks Martha can buy? So, well, the smallest number they have in common, if I were to write them all out, so if I went three, six, nine, 12, okay, the smallest number is going to be 30. Okay, so the least number. A glue stick she can buy is going to be 30 glue sticks. The smallest number they have in common. So one, oh sorry, I don't know why I did a one. Three, six, nine, twelve, eighteen. Oh, I skipped fifteen, sorry. Uh, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, and ten, twenty. 30. Well, 30 then is the smallest number they have in common. There's no 10 or 20 in here. Okay. So 30 glue sticks. Okay. All right. Cole had three quarters of an hour of free time before dinner. He spent two thirds of that time playing guitar. How long did he play guitar? So he had three quarters of an hour. He spent two thirds of that time. Of means multiply, guys. Okay. Three and three are the same, which means you can cross them out and put one. And two goes into two once, two goes into four twice. So when I multiply straight across, I get half an hour. Okay? All right. Delia had three and five eighths yards of ribbon. About how many one quarter yard long pieces can she cut? Well, I need to put three and five eighths into an improper fraction, and then I need to divide that by one quarter to see how many we can do, okay? So, we need to do dead man, okay? Eight times three is 24, plus five is 29. Okay, we keep our denominator every time, divided by one fourth, okay? Well, in multiplication and division, well, in division, we keep, we change, and we flip. Okay, so now 29 is prime, so we're not going to be able to do to break that down any further. But four goes into four once, and four goes into eight twice. Okay, still not going to be able to break it down any more than that. So we're going to have 29 over two. Okay, well that leaves the top bigger than the bottom. So I'm going to put 29 in the box, two outside the box, two goes into two. One time, I get two, I subtract, I get zero, I bring down my nine. Two goes into nine, four times, four times two is eight, one left over, okay? But the most number of bracelets she's going to be able to make, or sorry, pieces that she's going to have, yard pieces, is going to be 14, okay? So... It says about how many? So about 14. Uh, we'll just put pieces. Okay, so ignore my scribble. Okay, so about 14 pieces. Okay, okay. 
which point is located at negative 1.1? Well, if it's negative, we're not going that way, okay? So negative, well, there's 1, and 0.1, well, that would be 0.5, so it's going to be B. Done. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 4.3. Come on back for 4.4. See you soon.